Mayong Buntag Wonders! We just arrived here on Olango Island, the closest island paradise to Cebu City. That's not in any way connected via bridges or anything like that. excited to be here dude there's a lot to see well maybe looks like a pretty flat island so we're not gonna have any mountains or waterfalls here but Olongo Island is actually located right in the middle of this huge reef and along with the main Olongo Island there's actually six other little islands as well so we're gonna look into doing some island hopping that probably won't be till tomorrow we just arrived here at our hotel which is right here because i can't remember the name it's kind of long anyway it looks nice but we can't check in yet until 2 and it's only like 9 30 in the morning to get here you either need to come to one of two ports the first port is Angasir. that's where you can go if you don't have a motorbike or a vehicle it was like 30 per person there the second port is hilton port it's just behind moving pick take a boat or a barge from that port if you have a motorcycle or a vehicle that you want to bring to this island that was like 25 a person i think and then 200 yeah. for the bike and there was also a 45 fee after that i don't even know what that was for a terminal fee or something i, I don't even know but we paid it, so we're here. We are now here at San Vicente Marine Sanctuary. Stop number one on Olango Island. This is an almost half kilometer stretch of boardwalk that goes through the mangroves, as you can clearly see. We are very passionate about mangroves. I'd never even seen a mangrove before the first time I came to the Philippines and my mom actually asked on a comment once, what's a mangrove? <laughs> well mom, it's uh, these things back here, they like grow in the shallow parts of the water if you can see the, the roots sticking up, they're very cool. It's a crab! Where? A crab? There. Okay, so we're gonna go in, it's about half a kilometer long and you can actually swim here. We couldn't check into our room so Isa actually has swimming attire but I don't I'm born ready <laughs> so we're not gonna be able to swim here right now if we really think it's worth it we can always come back this is right by our hotel but there's actually multiple marine sanctuaries around here they were saying that they have the biggest turtle here that's four foot three inches long 120 years old 120 years and old how many it weighs a lot. a lot i can't remember how much it weighs but it was a lot yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe he'll come pay us a visit but the tide's really low so i'm not sure we'll see welcome to alango island <laughs> don't ever doubt Without a doubt, the longest boardwalk I've ever been in in my life. We went from in the mangroves to like normal boardwalk to Buis Buhai boardwalk to now floating boardwalk. And I guess there's a restaurant up ahead. I've never seen anything like it before. I can say that for sure.
Well, I definitely feel like we can recommend this place. Definitely recommend it. At first when we got here, I thought it was gonna kind of be like Bantayan, where it's all about the mangroves, but you get through the mangroves pretty quick and... I don't know, it's just a relaxing place. I don't know what to tell you about it. What you see is what you get. We did see a jellyfish swim by. That yeah, cool. it's purple jellyfish. For your first stop on Olongo, might as well come here. It's pretty cool. A few moments later... Ugh. Just checked into our hotel. We're really hungry. In our search to find food around the island, we ended up seeing most of the island. It's pretty small. Man, it's hard to find good variety of food. So we decided to just come back to our hotel and eat at the restaurant here. Pero, Uncook is on break for at least another half an hour. We're gonna wait for the cook, I guess, and then eat. And then, more spots. So after lunch, we went to the Olongo Wildlife Sanctuary, which is one of the most popular things that people like to do when they're on this island. You basically can see these birds flying through and they like take a stop off there. They're actually migrating from Europe. That's what I heard from Finn when they stopped through in the Philippines. Mm, that's uh, really cool. First of all, I want to say, if you're here on Olongo Island, I still recommend that because we didn't see it. We can't say that it's bad. It's probably yeah. awesome, to mm -hmm. be honest. I'm not putting it down. Basically, the only reason we didn't go in and we left is because they saw this camera, our bigger camera. Yeah, they asked like um, the purpose of filming the, the area. And I said, we're just filming for a hobby. And they said, for what? And I said, YouTube. And they're like, no, you have to pay 500. I don't know about Cody, but personally for me, I feel that it's unfair because if people can film using their camera or their GoPro or like just, their phone. yeah, their phone and post it in social media. Why can't we using our proper camera and post it still on the same outlet, social media? Why can't we do that? So Because we could have done it with our phone. Yeah, we could have done it with our phone. So it feels so unfair for us. It's just there's a lot of people out there who just film on their phone or on their GoPro and they still post to social media. It's all going to the same place. I guess our problem with it was that just because we have a bigger camera, we're not allowed to do it, even though iPhones and things like that can also film 4K, get the same quality. It just felt unfair, so we weren't going to uh, support that. It kind of sucks, we're not trying to put down the area there, but we just don't like that rule, personally, as vloggers, that just because our camera is bigger, means we have to pay 500. So it's not that the money was too much and we're being super cheap, it's the premise of it. Still check it out, I guess, but we can't recommend it personally. But that being said, we're now here at Shalala Beach. Not actually for the beach though, it actually looks nicer than I expected. Yeah, it seems very peaceful. We're here to walk to a another island. You'll see. <laughs> Walking to Panganan Island. We're going from there. You have to walk through here. It's fun! And the sun's getting a little low. Hopefully we'll make it back in time. We've been in mangroves many times, but always on some sort of a deck or a boardwalk. This is the first time we've ever been in the mangrove. I can honestly say, guys, this is one of the coolest experiences I've done in a while, especially since being back. And I don't even know if we're going to find our destination, but it's all about this part, the journey. Oh my gosh, it just, this is so cool, look at this! <laughs> Isa, we got to get some B-roll of you. Okay, so we came out of the mangroves to find the craziest, like, like stretch of sand where the tide is low. Still a long way to go. I'm trying to get it below and we've walked pretty far. We can't do that trek in the dark. So we're just gonna fly the drone and get out of here. This is super cool though. All right, there's a rain cloud back there, clearly dumping rain, and the sun is headed down. It's a little bit of a long walk, so we're headed back. This guy back here on the motorbike keeps honking. I don't know if he's honking at us, but we're going this way. <laughs> Our hotel's not on the other island. 
So on our walk back, we've noticed that you can actually see some of the birds that people go to the other sanctuary for to see the birds. Like, for the free, to see all the birds you want. I mean, there's not that many here. I don't know how many are at the actual sanctuary, but there's a few flying around here. I really didn't expect my skirt will be wet because the first, the first plan was the wild, wildlife sanctuary. Yeah, I wore underwear. <laughs> Rule number one in the Philippines, never wear underwear. <laughs> One thing I forgot to do earlier when we first arrived, and that is a room tour. Don't worry, guys, this is gonna be fast. Hi, come in, come in, come in. <laughs> it's a little bit dirty, so this is our restroom, our shower room, and then, of course, the bed. The bed is really nice. Whoa, and uh, where's everything else? Oh, oh this is it? Yeah. <laughs> It's small, but honestly, it's comfortable. The bed is really comfortable, so... Like, we don't really need anything else. We just need so a place to sleep. That's a place it. to sleep and preferably a place to shower, but, I mean, the ocean's out there. Preferably a place to shower. Because there's no heat heater. Yeah, there's no heater in the it's shower, but heater, still... But... We really are just happy to have a place to sleep. That's nice. Our favorite time to swim. Night time. So we decided after a day of traveling around the island, maybe we should actually explore and see what's on our own resort that we're staying in. It's actually kind of nice. Let's see. Honestly, this is so nice, guys. Wow. I think I can kind of recommend this resort. It had some weird reviews on Agoda when I booked it, but I booked it anyway. I like it.